everyone and welcome to another edition of Johnny Vlogs. Before we get started we have to do the check-in. Eye is healing up quite nicely. Still a little bloody and disgusting but it's coming along. I've also got some holiday garb on for St. Patrick's Day. There we go. There's my lucky shamrock. Um, don't know if you guys know this but my middle name is actually Patrick. So St. Patrick's Day was always a point of interest for me throughout my whole life. And of course, after I became 21, it became a very good point of interest. Had a lot of fun. Um, this past weekend, I was actually in San Diego running the San Diego Half Marathon, which I completed and got another medal. Looks a little cooler than this. Um, but before the race, uh, my wife and I were having dinner out in town and we could see all the party goers. There was plenty of goofy green hats and even goofier neckwear um, and just people having a blast uh, leading up into this St. Patrick's Day week. So just wanted to give a quick shout out and I know I've got some viewers um, in the UK and Ireland in particular. Another little piece of Johnny Vlogs trivia, I don't know if you guys know, but um, my father is actually Irish. I am the firstborn in America, so um, I've always just kind of had this special feeling about that holiday. So anyway, on to the official business. Um, before we start today's episode, I have to thank a whole bunch of new Patreon supporters, and just thank you guys so much. You have no idea how it it feels to see these messages come through that someone else is contributing to Patreon. It, it literally lights me up and there are so many of you guys over this past week. It just, um, on top of the financial thing, it just lifts my spirits. It's being supported in a way that I never really expected um, to be supported. I mean, when I started YouTube just a few years ago, Patreon wasn't even that big of a thing. I don't even know if it was around. Um, I'm almost three years into YouTube now. Um, but over the past year or so, a lot of content creators are using it, and um, it just it feels it's like the best pat on the back I can get from you guys. So thank you so much. So this episode of Johnny Vlogs is brought to you by Chelsea Smallwood. Thank you, Chelsea. Pamela Doss. Thank you so much, Pamela. Amy Higginbotham. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Soulless. Well, I don't know. I think you got a soul in there somewhere. Very kind of you to be donating. Jen also became a donator and left a very cool post. Thank you so much, Jen. Greg is also in that group, as well as Christina Brinegar, I believe. Brinegar? I don't know. I hope I got it right. But that's the biggest group of supporters I've had jumping in one week so far. Thank each and every one of you. And of course, thank you to the other Patreon supporters that are already part of that special group. I'm really thinking of something to do for you guys. Um, I have a couple of ideas, but I just know that I've got something special I'm going to be trying to put together for you guys. So something will be coming. Um, I'm not sure if that's access to some type of content maybe, or maybe some new content just for you guys. I've got a few ideas kind of percolating on that, but thank you, thank you, thank you. So to today's topic, and I have to give a quick shout out to Christy Strasener, who is also a Patreon supporter, uh, which, speaking of which, if you want to become one, there's a link down below. Um, but she's also now a brain scratch researcher. She did some great research um, for the Sodder children. And uh, Christy shot me an email over the weekend. There was a big buzz about where's Richard Simmons. All of a sudden, there was all these new stories popping up that he hasn't been seen since... Uh, I think it's been over two years since the Macy's Thanksgiving parade uh, a few years ago. Um, and I was, wasn't sure about what caused all this stir, but there was kind of a rumor that um, his housekeeper might be keeping him locked up and kind of away from the world. Well, just this morning, there was a new rush of articles kicking out, and I'm going to uh, be quoting one from ABC News. And here's the gist of it. Richard Simmons denied he has been kidnapped and says he has, quote, just been taking it easy since making his last official public appearance in 2013. I am not kidnapped, uh, Simmons 67 said in a phone interview with Entertainment Tonight on Sunday. I am just in my house right now. It does sound a little strange, and I can see why people get concerned. I know we had... Um, some strange occurrence with Casey Kasem, and when people get older, uh, I do think that uh, others might worry that there's some type of elder abuse where the people are being manipulated by people close to them, 
uh, hopefully, or in some, not hopefully, in some effort to get uh, financial gains or maybe to get in their will or something like that. Uh, Richard has a bit more to say here. I love all the people who worry about me, but it was time for me to take some time to be by myself. For the last 40 years, I've been traveling, teaching class, and I had a knee injury, so I had a knee replacement, which was very difficult for me. I bet it's a bit harder to sweat to the oldies when you're in recovery for a knee replacement. I've really just been taking it easy, staying at home, working out in my gym, and doing the things I haven't done in a very long time. At least from these quotes, it sounds like he's in good spirits. I was curious what started all this buzz, though, and apparently... A former employee of his, a former assistant, um, Mauro Oliveira, wrote a new ebook called King Rich and the Evil Witch, in which he claims Simmons' female housekeeper has control over him through her witchcraft. Just take a moment and let that digest, folks. Yes, Richard Simmons is being controlled by witchcraft. Uh, didn't we already know that? Hasn't he been controlled this whole time by witchcraft? I mean, we, we've seen his hair, right? Um, I'm just kidding. His, his hair is perfectly lovely. There's nothing wrong with Richard Simmons' hair. Um, <laughs> I just find this story a bit hard to swallow, and this is ABC News, folks. Um, of course, they are just setting out the claims of someone who is trying to sell their book it's tough for me. I don't want to get down on authors because I hope to be a true crime author uh, someday myself. I have written a little short story here or there, um, but it really kind of bums me out when, uh, particularly when I'm reading true crime and I get to parts of the story or, or book that feel um, that they're not necessarily authentic, that they're in there to be um, to be kind of more extreme or bold or make these these assumptions and stories up that just are an effort to make the book seem more important than it actually is. And this definitely feels like this former assistant just trying to cash in on the job that he had previously in a way that probably, I mean, couldn't he write a book about, hey, how cool it was to be an assistant working with this fitness expert that has inspired you know, thousands if not millions of people to get off their butt, get in front of their TV and do some exercise and sweat for a little bit. Um, there's just, there's different ways that I can see people reaching for fame and um, this one, I don't know, just seems like sensationalism to me and um, I don't know, if you guys want to buy the book, feel free, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass on that one. Um, witchcraft controlling Richard Simmons is just, it makes my head shake. See? Head shaking all over the place. Um, so there's a rep for Richard Simmons that says uh, that it's all absolutely untrue. He's not being held against his will at all. And there was another little thought, and when I first saw this email, I kind of had this thought too. I was like, ooh, he's not being seen by anyone. Even this quote came through a telephone interview. I wonder if he's put some weight on. And I used to listen, um, I still do listen to the Howard Stern Show a bit, but I used to listen to it a lot when Richard Simmons was a regular guest on there. And he would catch a little flack for if he was putting a few pounds on or something like that. And I think not just myself, but the general public was worried that maybe he's hiding because he had put on a lot of weight and he didn't want to be seen, uh, maybe to protect his image or, or not da damage his brand. But um, they are clearly saying here that is not the case. He specifically says, I still weigh 150 pounds. I work out every day. I have a gym at the house. And I am very healthy. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have memories. Those Sweat into the Oldies tapes were everywhere back in the 80s. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure my mom, my aunts, I, th I think a few of them were Sweat into the Oldies. And he had just a huge series of all kinds of different types of music and everything. And like I said... Um, there's, I kind of have a little special place in my heart for the guy just because he's trying to help people. I've, I've never seen him do anything that wasn't in some effort to help other people. And I think those are the best type of content creators going. Um, not guys that try to read book, rate, <laughs> I can't even say it. Guys trying to write books about witchcraft controlling people. Man, that's a real bad PR move in my eyes. I personally wouldn't support a product like that, but that's just me. 
What do you guys think? Tell me about it in the comments below. Um, I also have to apologize. I'm behind on reviewing comments. I'm behind on getting back in emails, but I will be catching up on that this week. Being gone for the weekend always kind of throws me, and unfortunately, uh, every weekend for the next few months seems to have something occupying it. So um, comments are going to be a little slow for me to get back to, but usually by the middle of the week or so, I catch up to everyone. So. Thank you so much for joining me on this edition of Johnny Vlogs. Once again, shout out to my Patreon supporters. You all rock. And I will see you next time on the Geek and Dorks channel. Take care.